good day how to solve this problem from here let's square both sides of this equation so when we square both sides we square everything on this side and then we also square everything on this side now this square we affect the first square root here so we have square we cancel square root and we are left with 5 root 5 then inside the root we are still have root 5 then equals to when we use this power of 2 to affect this number we have 125 raised to power 2x because this power multiplies so again let's take the square on both sides again so when we square this side also we square this side and this square on this side we affect 5 and also we affect this root so when it affects 5 square of 5 we have 25 then times it will affect this root and square we cancel square root as well then we have 5 root 5 left and also these two we affect this power here we multiply that and we have 125 raised to the power 4x then from here we can multiply 25 and 5 that will give us 125 so we have 125 root 5 which will be equal to 125 raised to the power 4x then we can divide both sides by 125 so let's divide this side by 125 divide this side by 125 125 cancel 125 here then we have root 5 left which is equal to on this side we have something like 125 raised to the power 1 here then since we have same base of 125 now and we are dividing following this rule of indices when we have a raised to the power m equals to a raised to the power n so we can divide by a raised to the power n we can write this as a raised to the power m then minus n so when we subtract the power from there then from here we can write it as 125 raised to the power 4x then minus 1 equally from here we can also square both sides now to remove this square root so that we have root 5 squared will be equal to 125 raised to the power 4x minus 1 all squared then the square here we cancel square root remain just 5 remain just 5 there then also this power of 2 we open this power and we can write it as 125 raised to the power 2 times 4x that will be 8x then minus 2 then let's express 125 to base 5 as well then we have 5 we then be equal to 125 can be written as 5 raised to the power 3 then multiply by 8x minus 2 so using 3 to open that bracket here this will give us 5 equals to 5 raised to the power 3 times 8x that's 24x then 3 times minus 2 minus 6 then what we have here is 5 raised to the power 1 then we have same base we can equate the power now that will give us 1 equals to 24x minus 6 then from here we can carry minus 6 to this side and to become plus so we have 1 plus 6 now equals to 24x 1 plus 6 is 7 so we can equally say that from here we have 24x equals to 7 and since we are finding x divide both sides by 24 so as to have 24 you know we cancel 24 here and x will then be equal to 7 over 24 this here we get 7 over 24 as the value of x then from the problem given we can also see from there to check whether the 
answer we get we satisfy the equation from what we are given we can write that as 5 raised to power half because we have everything inside square root so we can write it as 5 raised to power half then multiply by we have the second 5 having you know 2 root we have 5 raised to power 5 5 raised to power half then half then the third 5 is having 3 root so we have 5 raised to power half then half then half then it is equals to 125 raised to power x so that's what we are given and what that's 125 raised to power the x we got is 7 over 24 so 125 raised to power 7 over 24 there and then when we simplify this we have 5 raised to power half times 5 raised to power half times half will give us 1 over 4 times 5 raised to power half times half times half will give us 1 over 8 and equals to 125 raised to power 7 over 4. Let's express 125 as 5 raised to power 3, then times 7 over 24. Then from here, this 3 can you know go in 24, that will be 8. So this will reduce to 5 raised to power 7 over 8. And here as well, you can summarize it from the law of indices and we write 5 raised to power half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. Since they have the same base and they multiply, we can add the power. Then equals to 5 raised to the power 7 over 8. Then here as well, we can bring this power as 5 raised to the power. SM there is 8 and 2 goes in 8, that's 4. Times 1, that's still 4. Plus 4 goes in 8, that's 2 times 1, that's still 2. Plus 8 goes in 8, that's 1 times 1, that's still 1. Is it equals to 5 raised to the power 7 over 8? So now, if we can confirm that this is equal, when we add this, we have 4 plus 2 plus 1, that's 7. And uh, we can say this is 5 raised to the power 7 over 8. And it's equals to 5 raised to the power 7 over 8. The left hand side is therefore equal to the right hand side. And therefore, we can conclude that x is equal to 7 over 24. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out in any of our videos. Thank you and see you in the next class. Bye for now.